Hello, I am Dr. Anup Rahul. I have recently joined Fortis Hospital Mulund as consultant medical geneticist. So I have done my MD in general medicine and after that I have done DM in medical genetics. So medical genetics is a new speciality uh, which is there uh, in the hospital and Fortis is the first hospital uh, in Mumbai to start medical genetic uh, consultation services. So just to explain what is medical genetics, uh, what sort of patients we see, what services we offer in medical genetics. So medical genetics, it deals with uh, underlying genetic causes for various uh, disorders or disease conditions uh, like cancers, if there is any uh, inherited uh, disorder in the family, if there is hereditary history like multiple members in the family having cancers or uh, recurrent miscarriages in the family or uh, sudden cardiac deaths, unexplained deaths which have happened or any particular illness which is seen in uh, first degree or second degree relatives in the same family. So in all such conditions we try to investigate what is the underlying genetic cause. So we have the appropriate diagnosis and based on that then we can uh, start appropriate treatment for such individuals. And taking it a step further, then we also identify who are the individuals at risk. We screen those individuals uh, based on the uh, genetic findings that we have from the affected members. We do ge uh, genetic tests for these people. And then we see to it that the same genetic condition, if it is severe, if there, are, uh, if there is significant morbidity or risk of mortality, we can do prenatal diagnosis or uh, like amniocentesis and CVS procedures for doing genetic testing in the fetus and we can uh, help the family take appropriate decisions regarding pregnancy. So this is the entire scope of uh, medical genetics and uh, as most commonly these services are utilized in cancer or oncology department on two fronts. One is when there is a risk of hereditary cancers like there are multiple members in the family who are affected with cancers and we are suspecting a particular cancer syndrome that is one. So we can do a genetic test and identify which cancer syndrome it is. We can screen individuals at risk. We can put them on surveillance and appropriate uh, prevent, uh, preventive uh, measures and management can be planned for such individuals. And second is the treatment part, which is uh, where molecular genetics has had a huge impact, where we screen the tumor tissue blocks, the paraffin blocks, or uh, from blood, we do liquid biopsies, and we do genetic testing, molecular genetic testing to identify which is the appropriate therapy that will benefit the patient with maximum of therapeutic effect and least of side effects. So what we call as precision oncology or precision medicine. So this is the field of oncology. Apart from that, medical genetics uh, encompasses all departments. So uh, for example, say ophthalmology. So pediatric patients with cataracts or glaucoma or vision loss, which is unexplained, conditions like retinitis pigmentosa, malignancies, retinoblastoma, unexplained optic neuritis, optic atrophy, which may be due to metabolic causes or uh, age related macular degeneration, which we see in the elderly. So all these causes have genetic etiology. Coming to ENT department, uh, craniofacial anomalies since birth, congenital anomalies that is, hearing loss, uh, the apparatus within the ear, what we know as uh, cochlear uh, apparatus, if there is hypoplasia or aplasia that means uh, uh, since birth if this organ has not developed properly so all such cases or conditions have underlying genetic etiology so appropriate molecular diagnosis can have a huge impact on overall management so that is very important then coming uh, si similar thing in neurology so neurodevelopmental disorders in the pediatric or neonatal age group at the same time neurodegenerative disorders which may have onset maybe in teens, adulthood or in elderly. Most of these cases have underlying genetic etiology where there are many conditions which clinically have similar picture and the molecular diagnosis will help you to identify exactly which one it is amongst those group of conditions. So giving you exact diagnosis. So same thing uh, in orthopedics where short stature skeletal dysplasias, 
anomalies of the bones where short bones uh, bones not being formed properly fragile bones risk of joint dislocations recurrent fractures uh, connective tissue disorders so all these have genetic etiologies most importantly uh, if a couple is planning a pregnancy or a couple uh, say is planning marriage even in those conditions so premarital genetic consultation or preconceptional genetic cons uh, consultation becomes even more relevant so genetic disorders are quite common uh, in the general population more uh, than we think uh, for instance uh, spinal muscular atrophy so this condition people you must have read a uh, few uh, months back there was a news that some wonder drug has come to cure spinal muscular atrophy costing some crores and uh, so but the fact is spinal muscular atrophy the carrier status in general population is in indian population the data says is between 1 in 30 to 1 in 70 quite high and it is a autosomal recessive condition that means if both the partners husband and wife are carriers then there is a 25 percent risk of having a child with spinal muscular atrophy one of the similar condition to simplify is thalassemia or sickle cell and screening tests are available so if we do a genetic screening test for the couple we can identify the carriers and we can see to it that they have a healthy child who doesn't have spinal muscular atrophy so it is preventable so that shows how medical genetics uh, is coming as a specialty we get referrals from various departments even we have patients or families who come directly for consultation so if you have any queries any uh, consultation you want to seek you can take appointment at Fortis Hospital Mulund Mumbai thank you